Hi there. In this video, we're going to uh, look at how we can work out the mean, median, and mode for a set of data. Okay, working out the mean. Now, I don't want to give you uh, straight away, just give you the method. I want to give you an idea of what it exactly is to find the mean. So, suppose we have a house and the house has four rooms. In one room, we have five people. The other room, we have seven people. Another room, we've got two people. And another room, we've got 10 people. So we've got five, seven, two, and 10. And then we decide that we want to have the same number of people in each room. So what I wanna do is work out, first of all, how many people do I have in the house? 5 and 7 is 12, 12 and 2 is 14, 14 and 10 is 24. So we've got 24 people in total in the house, and I want to put the same number of people into each room. So I want an even number of people in each room. I would have to put 6 in each room. So the mean of 5, 7, 2 and 10 is 6. Similar idea here. If I had... 31 people in one room, 25 in another, 39 in another, 30 in another, and 25 in another. So we got five rooms, 31 people, 25 people, 39 people, 30 people, and 25 people. And I want to redistribute those people. so that we have the same number of people in each room, what am I going to do? First of all, I'm going to add together all these numbers and work out the total number of people. So 31 plus 25 plus 39 plus 30 plus 25 gives me 150. So there's 150 people in this mansion, I suppose. And if I want the same number of people in each room, I'm going to have to divide this 150 people by 5, because there's 5 rooms. So I would have to put 30 people in each room. And that is how we work out the mean for a data set. So essentially what we do is we add up all the numbers and then divide by the amount of value. So I added up all these numbers and divided by 5 because there was 5 different values. Okay, have a go at these questions, pause the video, and maybe if you've printed off the sheet, you can work out the answers. Okay, so I'll just bring up the solutions now, and you can mark your work. All right, if you got any of those questions wrong, please do uh, have a look at it again and see if you can figure out where you have gone wrong. Right, so on to working out the median. Now, the median is sometimes known as the middle value. So suppose I have this data set here. I want to know which data point is smack bang in the middle of the data. So the first thing I want to do is put the data in order. Now what I've done here is I've actually represented the data on a number line. So it's a little bit easier for you to see what's going on. So we can clearly see there's 13. There's your 25. There's your 30. 31 and 39 so which data point is going to be right in the middle so that I have the same number of data points to the left and to the right well the answer must be 30 if I highlight that data point there we can clearly see that we have two data points to the right and two data points to the left so the middle data point, the middle value, must be 30. So always remember, put them in order. Order your data, and then choose the middle value. All right, but what happens, in this case it was nice, we had five pieces of data. What happens if we've only got four or if we have an even number of data points? So let me just show you this on a number line as well. So we've got four pieces of data. We've got 
2, 5, 7 and 10. Now I want to choose a value so that I have the same number of data points to the left of that value and to the right. Now if I choose 5 for example I'll only have 1 to the left and 2 to the right. If I choose 7 I'll have 1 to the right but 2 to the left. So the middle value I'm going to have to pick is actually between 5 and 7. It's right here. So let me make another data point. That's 6. That will be my middle value. Because now I have two data points to the left and two data points to the right. So just bear that in mind. When you've got an even number of data points, what I always do in my head is I, I work out the total number of data points. So if I've got, say for example, tw 20 data points, if I've got 20 data points, I'll half that in my head. That means my answer is going to be between the 10th and the 11th data point. And I work out what value is in between the 10th and 11th. In this case, we had four data points. So I half that, I get two. That means my answer is between the second and the third data point. So between the second and the third data point, once it's in order. OK, that's how you work out the median. Uh, here are some questions. Have a go. OK, hopefully you've had a go at those questions. And here are your solutions. OK, on we go. Onto the mode. Now, the mode is the most common value. So, the first thing that I always like to do when I'm asked to work at the mode is order the data, just like the median. It's always nice to have the data in order, it's a little bit easier to read then. So, let's put this data in order. We get 30, no, we don't, we get 25, 25, 30, 31 and 39. Now, which data point appears the most? 25 does. It appears twice, so my mode is 25. Example 2. Slightly bigger data set here. Again, put it in order. So we get 2, 2, 5, 5, 5, 7, and 10. And the most common data point seems to be 5. So 5 is our mode. And the last one, let's put it in order again. So we get 2, 2, 2. Always good practice, by the way, to actually tick them off as you go. 2, 2, 2. 3, 3, 3. 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, and 3. And 5. So the most common answer here or the most common data point is 3. That means our mode is 3. It's the most common. So think mode and most, median and middle. Uh, just something else to bear in mind. If you had a data set like this, say 1, 2, 3, 4. OK, uh, we've got four data points. There's no mode there. Nothing is the most common, so we would, we would just say no mode. Um, and another thing that doesn't really get asked in exams, but just out of interest, you might want to know. I uh, suppose I had a data set like this. One, one, two, two, five, something like that. Uh, in this case, we it seems that we have two modes. One and two is the mode, so we can actually say that's bimodal. That means it has two modes. OK, here's a few questions for you to try. Have a go at those. And here are your solutions. So 1, 8, no mode, 9, 1, no mode, and the last one was bimodal. All right, that's pretty much all from me. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it useful and I will talk to you again sometime. Take it easy.